Yo, what it do, do YouTube? It is your boy Coach Shark. We are back with another video, and today we're talking about the wide receiver room for the Indianapolis Colts that needs a huge impact this offseason. We need to make a move. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. If the Colts want to take a leap in this offense and make it move towards progression that we would like to see, they need to make a splash in the offseason. I'm tired of drafting wide receivers that are young with no experience. I need a number one wide receiver. Most, most teams you see nowadays have two number one wide receivers, but when you look at the Colts roster, there's a bunch of twos, threes, fours, fives, and keep going further down the roster. Um, this is no knock on the Colts wide receiver room at all. It's just saying we need a significant upgrade if we're going to take a boost to the next level. Does that mean I do not trust them? Absolutely not. I'm saying we need to go get a veteran wide receiver or someone with some type of experience that's looking for a contract in free agency to make a move next season for the offense. Simple as that. I'm tired of the wide receiver room that we have. Like I said, this is no knock on them at all, but I'm just tired of the inconsistency. Now, you can talk about Zach Pascal, who was a dog. He's probably one of the most consistent wide receivers last year. But, I mean, for the Colts, I mean, one of the most consistent wide receivers for the Colts. But when you look at last season, a lot of inconsistency. Of course, they had to do with a new QB. Uh, maybe he had to do something with the scheme. I think a lot it had to do with a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything had a lot to do with the inconsistency of the wide receivers. But I think if you input another target from out of free agency, I think it opens up the room for more targets for the wide receivers the Colts already have. Now, of course, you may ask, well, Zach Pascal is a free agent. Do you think the Colts may bring him back? I believe they will. Uh, Ballard did issue a lot uh, a while ago. Even for, before the press conference, when we got eliminated from playoff contention, he mentioned about keeping the team together and staying young. So the odds of going to get an older wide receiver and possibly a number one is probably much out of the loop. But we are expecting to make a splash this offseason. I'm currently excited to see what we're going to do. Uh, Zach Ertz is a tight end. I know that's familiar with Carson Wentz if we are keeping him. But he can pretty much pull the needle for the offense progression for the Indianapolis Colts. I know a lot, of, a lot of Colts fans are on edge about getting him, but if you look at what he did last season, he literally just showed Colts fans that he still can play football. He was huge for the Cardinals moving forward, and he even showed it against us in the Christmas game. That is one person that I'm looking forward to going to get. But I do have a list in front of me of targets that are in free agency. Of course, uh, Zach Pascal being one, but I'm going to go over the number one wide receivers that are going to be out there that can be a potential uh, for the Indianapolis Colts that can be number one. Of course, you can say Michael Pittman Jr. is number one for the Colts, but we need another no We need another one. So, potentials. I'm taking Devontae Adams off the list because he's asked for 30 mil. That's too much money for the Colts to go spend because we still got to sign some players. So, Allen Robinson's out there. Uh, I'm not going to say Godwin. Uh, I don't think he's a true number one wide receiver, even though he's really solid. Uh, Juju Smith-Schuster is out there, even though a lot of people don't want him. A.J. Green was pretty much off the list. Emmanuel Sanders, uh, I don't think Keelan Cole's the number one. Uh, we're going to keep moving down the list. Scratch Deshaun Jackson off the list, too. Odell's on the list. Marquise Goodwin's not a number one. Um, D.D. Westbrook, uh, I don't think so. We're going to keep going down the list. I mean, there's a lot of good number two, number threes that could supplement with Michael Pittman Jr., uh, but I think we need another guy. I think we need another wide receiver. Uh, so, and I don't need, like I said, we don't need another number two wide receiver. We already have a few of those, especially with pass, uh, with Paris, uh, Campbell coming back from his injury. I don't know if they're going to move him. He has one year left of his contract. So I think it's going to be a pretty much a proven deal. And I don't think we'll be moving him no time soon as well, but going to get a number one, uh, wide receiver out of free agency is a huge move for the Colts. It has to be done. Uh, for tight end sakes, uh, Wally Cox did not eclipse what we are expecting for him yet. So we're going to get another tight end is a, a go-to as well. Even though Grantson's coming up, I think he's going to step into a bigger role next season. Um, but like I said, Zach Ertz is a huge piece to bring in, uh, even though we know Doyle is probably going to be retiring this offseason. But yeah, we got to make a move. I'm tired of the draft. I'm tired of building through the draft, even though it's a way to go, staying young. But I'm tired of building through, trying to put too much pressure on these young guys. We need a vet. We need a vet. Simple as that. So we need to make a move in free agency. But this one's going when you guys are going to come in. In the comment section, let me know 
Who do you think the Colts should target and why? And how do you feel about the wide receivers going into next season that currently plays for the Colts that are going to be coming back? All these things in the comment section. This is Marcus, and until next time, you've been Culture Shot.